Hi guys, Ryan here with another wonderful episode of the Space Updates. Coming up on today's show, issues with NASA's Lucid mission, launch updates and more space news. Let's get the show started. So launch updates this week, uh, Ariane Space are launching their Ariane 5 rocket, launching the SES-17 in Syracuse 4A on 23rd of October on Saturday at 1 o'clock UTC. And over in Japan, uh, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, interesting rocket this one, H2A202, launching on Monday the 25th of October at 2 o'clock UTC. And as always, you can catch our launch live stream right here on Total Space, so go subscribe, hit that bell button, and don't miss a single launch. Now on with the, uh, all the main topics. Uh, last weekend, Total Space live-streamed a Lucy mission launch. Atlas V successfully launched NASA's Lucy spacecraft on Saturday the 16th on a mission to study distant Trojan asteroids. That may hold clues to the early history of our solar system. But there was a minor hiccup with one of the solar arrays not fully attaching on deployment, as you can see up on the screen there. That's what's supposed to happen, but one of those unfolding panels didn't quite clip into a secure state. Uh, here's a statement from NASA. Following successful launch on October 16th, analysis of NASA's Lucy spacecraft system showed that the spacecraft is operating well and stable. Lucy's two solar arrays have deployed and both are producing power, and the battery is charging. Wow. While one of the arrays has latched, indications it seems that the second array may not be fully latched. All of the systems are normal in current spacecraft altitude. Lucy can continue to operate with no threat to its health and safety. The team are analysing the spacecraft data to understand the situation and determine the next steps to achieve full deployment of that solar array. So it looks like they might uh, make some, some attempt to uh, rescue that and try and latch it back on. So fingers crossed for that one. Now Virgin Galactic, after the FAA troubles with uh, their Spaceship 2 vehicle, Virgin Galactic have announced they're postponing the next Spaceship 2 suborbital flight. It was scheduled in from October. Instead, the team will begin an extended maintenance period for the space plane and its carrier aircraft that will delay the start of the commercial flights of Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. The announcement came after a recent lab test of some materials using the vehicles flagged a possible reduction in strength margins of certain materials used to modify specific joints in the vehicle that required further detailed inspection. Uh, that decision means that the company will delay the Unity 23 flight for the Italian Air Force. Unfortunate, but that just goes to show that all aspects of the Spaceship 2 vehicle are under constant review and inspection. Plus, Safety is top priority at all times. It will be interesting to see major changes that are made into the current vehicle as the bigger and newest Spaceship 3 was revealed earlier this year, spotting a new stainless steel chrome finish. So it'll be interesting to see when they bring that one into play. Uh, if you like to support what we do, head over to patreon.com forward slash total space, gain access to our exclusive Discord community, chat with special guests on the show and so much more and you can follow us over on twitter and find us over on totalspace.net that's our website enjoy the show now let's get back to it rocket lab announced that the capstone launch is delayed until march 2022 the launch of nasa's cubesat mission will test the orbit used by the lunar gateway and has been delayed due to broader launch delays rocket lab has suffered because of the pandemic capstone is a 12 unit cubesat developed by colorado based advanced space that will test the stability of the orbit nasa plans to use for the lunar gateway unfortunate but a bit out of their control and a lot of companies in the space industry are facing similar delays in the background but best of luck to the team and way I see it, more time to check the space systems that are absolutely perfect prior to launch. Now in other news, NASA has selected a new space telescope proposal that will study the recent history of starburst, star death and formation of chemical elements in the Milky Way. The Gamma Ray Telescope, called Compton Spectrometer and Imager, C-O-S-I for short, is expected to launch in 2025 as NASA's latest small astrophysics mission. And also this week, Shenzhou-13 astronauts begin China's longest mission ever at the space station module. Uh, the three astronauts China's Shenzhou-13 mission entered the country's Tian module at the core of its Tian space station on Saturday the 16th to kick off a six-month expedition to the Chinese orbital lab. And MS-18 Soyuz lands with a film crew after the space station movie shoot, uh, The Challenge. The first professional film crew to fly into space has returned to Earth after 12 days of shooting the movie aboard the International Space Station. A great step forward for the film industry and I'm sure we'll see Tom Cruise up on the International Space Station very, very soon. 
Now, it may be mission impossible for me and you to go to the International Space Station, but what is possible? Go like this video, go subscribe, make sure you check out our other content. Here's our Lucy mission video, and here's a little something on Firefly. Who's next? You decide. Thank <laughs> you.